Well, I have a TV, an LG 42 LG 50 that was donated to me. It stopped working. The customer purchased a new one and just didn't want to deal with this one any longer. It was made in May 2008. It's 12 years old at this point because I'm making this video in June 2020. So I haven't even plugged it in yet. I don't know what's going on with it. Let's take a look together and see what it does. Okay, well the power is on. There's a little window down here. I don't see anything in that. And looking at the meter right now, we're drawing about eh, 28 watts, not quite 30 watts. Let's hit the power button. It actually dropped down slightly. It went to zero almost. Hit the power button, the current comes up. Hmm. Interesting. Nothing on the screen. Well, let's pop the back. Okay, so I have the connector from the power supply to the main board disconnected at this point. And so I see on the circuit board, it's labeled as to what these pins are. 16.5 volts, ground, 12 volts, ground, 5 volts, 5 volts, ground, ground, ACD, I'm not sure what that stands for, on off, pulse width modulation dim, and then these have no connection. Now on this side, this is the brightness pin, the power on command and the error command. And from here on down, all of these are paralleled together. So 16.5 is on both of these pins. Ground is on both of these pins because a lot of these are higher current power supplies. So they want double redundancy. So they use two pins instead of just one. So I'm interested in the five volt power supply. Do we have five volts to the main board? So let me get the fluke out. We'll plug the connector back into the main board and we'll measure a voltage and see if we have five volts standby. And then we can look and see if we have the on off or power on command. I'm not sure what the distinction is between the two sides unless the on off turns on the power supply and the power on may turn on the backlight because of the brightness pin right here. But then over here we have the pulse width modulation dim command. Okay, so the unit is off right now. Let's take a look at the 16.5 volt line, zero. That one's ground, the next one is 12 volts, zero. And then ground and then five volts. That's the one I'm interested in, 5.17. That is perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and hit the power button. We'll look at the 16.5 first. I've got 16 volts, that's fine. Look at the 12 volts, that's perfectly fine. And the five volt, it's still five volts. That tells me the power supply is working correctly. Let's jump up here, you probably won't be able to see it, but let's look at the 24 volts to the backlight. I've got 24 volts to the backlight, so the backlight should be on at this point. On is 3.39 volts. Brightness is 3.36 volts. The backlight should be on. Let's look at the on off. I'll go ahead and hit the power button again. It's off now, it went to zero. Okay, so in addition to checking uh, the power supply voltages, the commands to turn the backlight on and off. Uh, everything looked really good. I got the backlight on command. I had a good steady 24 volts. All my voltages, the 12 volts, the 5 volts, uh, leaving the power supply, going to the main board were perfectly fine. Off camera, I went ahead and tore apart the backlights which are over here, and there's one on the other side of the set as well. There's little fuses on here, little 3 amp fuses that protect the power supply if the FETs were to short. I ESR the capacitors on the board, I checked the fuses, I checked the FETs, everything was perfect. But the backlight wouldn't light, it wouldn't even try to light. So on a whim, I called a buddy of mine just to check and see if he had a spare board. And lo and behold, he had an extra main board from the exact model. Now it does look a little bit different. Um, it doesn't have the BGA processor on it and it doesn't have four RAM chips. It has just a standard pin mount processor and only two RAM chips. But watch what happens when I turn off the lights and turn on the power. The optical output, the Toslink connector is lit red in the lower right hand part of your screen. Then look at that. I have backlight. So if you look at where those are, those are the supports for the fluorescent tubes. So I have backlight. Let's flip this over and see if we have video now. Okay, so 
New board's in it. Let's power it up. Backlight's on. Look at that. That was it. The main board. Like I said, I, tr I troubleshot the backlight, the master, the slave, both of them. Um, I checked the timing controller board, the TCON, no blown fuses. As far as I could tell, all the voltages were working correctly. But that was it. Just got a bad main board. Luckily, a buddy of mine had a spare main board that I got at no charge. So this set is up and running. This is going to be my new studio monitor for making my YouTube videos. I'm going to hang this where the little 23 inch set used to be and I'll have a nice 42 inch uh, full HD only 1080p it's not a 4k set but that's perfectly fine the camera that I film on is only a 1080p camera as well anyhow I want to give a shout out to those who have supported my channel with a donation via PayPal or by having me repair your unit really appreciate it if you enjoyed these videos please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video it really helps my channel grow you can follow me on social media Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at NorCal715. You can email me, NorCal715videos at gmail.com. Go ahead and leave me a comment, a question, a concern down below. I try to read all the comments and respond when I have time. Remember, with your help, we can keep these things out of the landfill, out of the recycle bin, and out of the e-waste facility. Everybody, once again, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Everybody, have a great day. Bye-bye.